Hello guys, it's Tracker Man. Shout out to everybody out there. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, let's get into this, man. So, uh, Fulham versus uh, Manchester City, man, in the Premier League. Uh, early kickoff. This should be a very interesting game, man. Uh, I'm not going to lie. As an Arsenal fan, you know I'm team. I'm rooting for uh, Fulham to, to win that game. I do have a Fulham jersey, by the way. I should have wear it for good luck. Uh, but, yeah, it is what it is, man. Fulham. Um, yeah, no, man. Last time I see Fulham, bro, they was out there flying kites, bro. Right before they play City, bro. You know what I mean? They pretty much gave up already. Um, this time of the year, you do not want to play Manchester City. You do not want to play Manchester City because they, they, they on, like, Terminator mode. They on hunting season mode. They go crazy. So, shout out to them um, for doing what they do, man. So, uh, yeah, man. It should be a very interesting game. Um, City have yes, the last 18 times City played Fulham, they haven't lost them, bro. 16 wins for City. And two draws. It's crazy. The last three times, it has been uh, three wins for City in a row. Um, the earlier they play uh, each other at, at the Etihad Stadium, City were able to win that one 5 1. Uh, Erling Island is back. And he's on goal scoring form. I think he has like 20 something goals. Goal and boot winner pretty much already. Give him the boot. Give him the damn boot already. And City pretty much undefeated on the road in a long time. City haven't lost a game in 20 or 30 something games, which is just crazy. And, uh, yeah, man, Fulham, bro, I don't know, man. Fulham is just not cutting right now. The last five games for Fulham has been, uh, I mean, one win. I believe they beat uh, West Ham 2-0. Then they lost two games and uh, two draws. They had two draws in a row, Crystal Palace and Brentford, I think, 0-0 draw. Um, yeah, man, two draws and two losses and one win, man. So the last three games, they, they, they're like three games without a win, bro. They're on a three-game without a freaking win man which is not good for them they only scored four goals in the last five game conceded um five goals man so pretty much they're not they're not very bad defensively but they're not very good offensively not gonna lie while city scored like 13 goals and conceded only two goals bro uh four wins and one draw you could say a loss because they they draw the full time but it went to the penalty they got knocked out by Real Madrid, man. But four wins in a row, only considered one goals in those four wins, which is just crazy. So, um, both teams, like, if you look at the past history, um, it's always been BTTS. And I think that's going to be the case here. I think both teams going to score. I think uh, uh, Fulham going to score. I think City going to score. So, BTTS, yes, and City winning 3 1. So, a 3 1 win or a 2 1 win for, for uh, Manchester City. I'm going with um, the game should be over 2.5 goals. At least 2.5 goals. City score at least 1.5 goals. Uh, Hurling Halley to, to score. Um, Phil Foden uh, sh score or assist. And um, yeah, man. De Bruyne at least uh, assist for him if you want to. Or two shots on target, man. So uh, that's my prediction. And at least uh, 9.5 corners. So at least 10 corners in this game, man. So uh, that's my prediction. Let me know what you think about my prediction. And uh, what's your thoughts on this game? But leave a like, leave a comment, share the video. With that, I'm out of here. Peace.